Hey guys and welcome back to Vikings 4x4 and Adventure for another weekend. This weekend Jared and I are back in the Hawkesbury headlands, camping and fishing at the beautiful Patonga Beach. This video is going to be all about fishing and admiring the beautiful scenery of Patonga Beach. We're going to give you all the details on the gear we are using as well as bait and hopefully, just hopefully, we will reel something in. So stay tuned. We arrived late Friday afternoon to the Patongo Caravan and Camping Ground and quickly began setting up the swags. The sites were quite tight, although the location made up for that. We were just a stone's throw from the Patongo Creek, which curves right around the campground and out into Brisk Bay, in the headlands of the mighty Hawkesbury River. This awesome little gem of a place is only 30 minutes from Gosford and an hour and 45 minutes from Sydney, right across from the famous Palm Beach in the Hawkesbury headlands. After setting up, we wasted little time exploring the area for some good fishing spots. Patonga Creek was heavily tidal. When the tide was out, you could literally walk on the creek bed. Jared was eager to get down at low tide to check out where all the sandbars and cuts were to determine the best place to fish. The scenery was absolutely stunning here and the fishing potential was even better. Jared was quickly able to identify some nice spots at the top of the beach right off the bat. First impressions were good and our continued walk of the beach proved to bring up those hopes even higher. Hello. Jeremy Wade, you know when he walks. So you got a lot of deep water there. I'm trying to cut them out and the tide's about halfway. But it'll probably not be standing here. The excitement was high as we thought we had found some really promising spots along the beach. After scouting the beach out, we headed down towards the wharf to see if it was just as promising as the beach. After a quick analysis, Jared was pretty happy with the potential of the wharf and was eager to cast a line out. Yeah, I got good vibes, so I wouldn't mind coming back down here. Once we had finished our recon of the area, we retreated to the beautiful waterfront pub for the evening. It was that spectacular, we almost forgot we were camping. The next morning, we cooked up some sausages and bacon and then got the bait ready to head out for a fish. We were using chicken thigh this time, one of our trusted favourites in the Hawkesbury headlands and surrounding areas within the river. Flathead and Brim love this stuff and it stays on your hook nicely. And it wasn't long before the old chicken thigh paid its dues and Jared added a new species to his catch list. This little flounder stumbled across Jared's hook on the bottom of the creek bed. A nice first catch for the trip. We wasted little time getting him back into the water to swim another day. A few more casts off the creek and we decided it was time to head down to the wharf. Easily accessible via the road or a short walk through the shrubs and along the beach. We brought along three rods for this trip. We had Jared's Shimano 702 Snapper Sonic Bait 5 to 8 kilo, as well as a 7 foot Shimano Sienna HD 720 2 to 5 kilo, and a 9 foot Abu Garcia Veritas 3.0 6 to 10 kilo spinning combo. All these rods were running a braid mainline with a monofilament tracer and a running sinker rig. This simple setup was yet to fail us. We were not using lures at all on this trip. We were sticking to the trusty chicken thigh bait the whole way. After some time patiently fishing off the wharf, we found we were admiring the scenery more than we were catching fish. So we decided to head back and give the beach rod a go from the top end of the beach. The tide was a fair ways out, so we weren't too confident in catching anything from the beach, although we still gave it a fair go. The scenery made up for all the time that we spent sitting there fishing. It isn't hard to see why Patonga is so popular, even in its off-peak season. Its close location to Sydney is an incredible bonus. The headlands that you can see off in the distance feed the mighty Hawkesbury River that spans 472 kilometers into the Great Dividing Range. The heads also distinguish Sydney on the right side and the central coast on the left. You can find all sorts of fish in the Hawkesbury headlands. Keen anglers have a chance of catching a wide variety of fish, including tailor, yellowtail kingfish, Australian salmon, luderick, snapper, 
brim, whiting, leather jacket, flathead and mulloway. The river becomes fresh water around Colo, some 60 kilometers inland. After giving the beach a go, we were just about ready to give fishing a break and headed back to camp for a little relaxing time. We enjoyed the comfort of our campsite for the next little while and the weather took a turn for the worst. After it died down though, Jared could be found back in his usual spot, right by the creek, angling for another fish. We were sitting around long into the night, until all hope was almost lost, but then... Just as we were about to call it quits, Jared pulls this monster brim out of Patonga Creek, to everyone's surprise. This monster was 28 centimeters long, one of the bigger ones caught in the area according to the local security. A fine addition to the catch list and a fitting send off to our Patonga adventure. We sent this brim back off into the water just like all the others. This is Jared's latest reeling off Patonga Beach uh, here on Saturday night, just as I was going to bed. This little guy came out. Now we don't have anything bigger to keep him in uh, until we get the hook out of his mouth. He was taking a little while and we didn't want him to die. So put him in here. Now I'm going to get the hook out of his mouth and we're going to chuck him back in the water. Man, what yep, a- this one's, I want him alive. Oh. There we go. He's off. Yeah, he's off. Yeah. Jared was as proud as ever, and what a blast we had at Patonga. We will absolutely be coming back here when time allows it. This place is always heavily booked, so we will need to plan some time in advance. If you enjoyed this one, guys, please consider subscribing. We really appreciate the support here at V-Kings 4x4 and Adventure. And until the next adventure, guys, stay safe.